Hello everyone, welcome to a new lesson in Fusion 360 and Eagle Integration. In this lesson, we are going to end this design. We have a couple of things to do. The first one is optional, but it's really useful in some cases. The LED will emit the light through this hole. And if you can create a column for the light to emit directly through it, it might be useful in this case. Select Extrude and select the offset area for each cut like this. Set the operation to Join. Show the lid body. We need to set an offset for the start point to be 1 mm above the LED. And from Extent Type, select to Object and select the inner face of the lid. So it looks like columns. The light will be more visible. The light will travel through it to the outside. Let's show the PCB and see the final results. The columns are 1 mm away from the LEDs. This step is optional and you can remove it since it will take more material and time to print. Now create a component for each body we have. To preview different material, right click on the lid and select Appearances. Drag and drop the material you want. So you distinguish between the lid and the bottom component. If we take a look from the top, we can see an error here. We don't want this area to look like this. So return back to Extrude and select the outer face as a reference and hit OK. This is how it should be. Let's export the components and prepare them for 3D printing process. Hide the PCB and the LED, and from File, select Export. Export it as STL format. Select the location where you want to save the file, and hit Export. Do the same thing for the LED. You will find these files in this lesson resources if you want to download them. Thank you for watching. See you next time.